Welcome back to Roy Family Farms. I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Amelia. What are we doing today, Amelia? We're going to move the pigs. And all the, if you're wondering about the piglets, all five of them are still alive. Yep, but all what, five of the piggies are still doing good, right? Yeah, but we are going, we're going to move these piggies. We're not seeing the piglets today. All right, for... Starters, what we did, we put the wheels on this pig tractor. Like, we don't always leave them on because they'll dig a hole and get out. Um, so we put that on there. We are starting to take these uh, fiberglass stepping posts that we use in between to keep like, the fence from sagging too much. We, we'll have to open this up. We'll move the tractor. Then we'll pull the fence down, relocate that. They're going to go in that little area right there next to that drive area drive sort of driveway road area we got there but so fence, we're gonna get to it we use a fence electrify all our fences electrify but not all of them just a couple fences is electrify so all of them but not all of them just a couple yeah that, that's a little silly way to say it but okay <laughs> all right so let's get these pigs moved all right we got part of the fence down here not all of it. So now we can pull the chick, chicken tractor, pig tractor over there. So we are going to get to it and uh, we'll probably have Amelia film it. You going to film it? Yeah. You're going to have to put your stick down though. Okay. Well, don't throw it there. We got to go right through there, kiddo. Because we're going right to that open spot there. Here, let's lean it up against the barn here. Okay. All right. We are going to get them moved now. We got a wizard up here, Amelia. It's green. Yeah, it's green. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, for anybody that's interested in this pig tractor build, this is how we move it. We put the wheels on and we just use the dolly. Um, usually to spin it, it's kind of easier just to push on whichever corner to get it to spun. To go the direction you want and then we just stick the dolly under it and pull it along with the pigs in there. There's a lizard one there. Stuck in a hole. There we go. Hey Come piggies! On, piggies. Hey piggy. Hey pig. Come on. You're seeing the pigs walking. We got them in place now, and now we're going to take the wheels off so they can't try to go under it. And dig. If you look here, I mean, it comes show them. It's really not that high, but if you left it like that, they would end up digging out under it. Yeah, they would dig out of it. Look, that pig is trying to get out, so that's why we don't leave the legs so on. So we take these, these loose here. Pull them off. Oh, come on. I think there's Boris. That looks like Boris is snout. We Stick do. Put the dolly up under. Lift it up. Pull the wheel off. If, set it back down. If some of you are new, our Boris named yeah, Boris. We do the same thing on the other side. Come on, video. If some of you are new, our boar is named Boris because he's a boar, so we name him Boris. This is kind of hard to see for them because it's all dark. Ah, get out of here, here. Mm-hmm. All right, that is off. 
I put those little clamp things oh, back on so I don't lose them. It sinks! That's why the fries is here. Well, what you're probably smelling is you got a lot of decomposing leaves and everything. That's got a certain smell to it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's organic matter that's decomposing and making better soil. Like, you know how under that tree you said the topsoil was really good? Mm-hmm. That's why. It's from all the uh, dead leaves and everything. All and from the pig's matter. poop and pee. Well, that really hasn't affected it yet. That was the first time they were in that spot. Here. So I put these, I put these back on and tighten them down so the pigs don't get them off. And that's pretty much it. We just got to move the fence now. We got, here's the piggies. They're happy and living better life. All right, not quite done yet. We still got to uh, put all the support posts. It's not sagging too bad, but uh, this fence is all right. I like it, but like right here, you got it touching some leaves and stuff. And if you pull too much tension on it, it bends the uh, post you have in the corner. But we've got it mostly set up. It's in close. No electric to it yet. But the pigs don't know that. They're, they're trained well to electric, so it's not an issue. So we let them out. They're having a good old time foraging for acorns and whatever else is down here. They're all excited. So we're going to get this thing finished up and... Uh, then the next thing is a barbed wire fence that's back there. I've got to flip all the T posts to the other side and then tension that barbed wire. And that'll be the uh, perimeter fence, the outside perimeter fence for the uh, next pasture for the cows. All right, it is later in the day. The pigs have been moved. They've been on the solar energizer, but before I go to work, I'm gonna put them on a actual plug-in energizer. The solar energizer is mostly dependable, but we've had issues when I've been away at work and Sam's not, not a, quite as handy as I am. So she, she's not, not really able to wire stuff up and run an auger and all that to put in a post and I think this rooster is about to ambush me but uh yeah so I'm gonna put in move the uh energizer over by the run I just need a longer extension cord I think I've got 25 foot that's over there I probably only need about another 25 foot, but get a hundred footer here, so we'll do that, and uh, that'll about wrap it up for the day. I'll start unloading my truck as all the fencing stuff, because I gotta go to work tomorrow. But I did get the uh, one perimeter fence, a stretch of perimeter fence. I got all the T posts flipped around, got that tension. And all that, it, that's always a pain in the butt. So you gotta try to not get all the strands of the barbed wire tangled up. So you kinda gotta put fence clips, usually at least on two or three posts, depending on the stretch and, and all that. So I just had to do it on two because there was a wood post halfway. So, right. It worked out pretty good, got that done, just took forever. Slowly getting progress on this next pasture, so. We'll see, I'm tired, I'm worn out. I'm sure my filming's crappy, but it can't be any worse than Amelia's wobbly stuff with uh, her finger and everything in there, so. But yeah. We're probably going to put the Energizer right about here, and the power is just right over there, so not too far. I got to grab my truck, though, with my 
Wow, that's bouncing around everywhere. Because I need the uh, post puller and the T post driver. Because I got to uh, pull the wood post that the energizer's on and the uh, grounding rod. So go grab that and get this done. I'm tired. I'm worn out. I'm over it. Well, it is a different day. I uh, kind of ran out of time to finish that video. I had a time crunch getting the uh, actual Energizer set up. We we had the solar one. I whenever I I'm not they work, but it's kind of a pain if something goes wrong whenever I'm at work. I'm stuck at work, so. It's just better to have an actual corded energizer, but me and the girls are going to feed the uh, feed and water pigs, kind of doing some late morning chores. They've all been, all the animals have been mostly taken care of. They had water and all that, but we're just catching up on some stuff. You, you guys having fun? Yeah. Herbert, you're lucky you didn't get water. You guys wet. ready to uh, give these pigs some water? Yeah, I got two sick. And then we got to feed Louise. Yeah. That wet. Oh yeah, see we got these pigs, they're all moved. The uh, hog netting set up. You've got the energizer back there. I had to pull that post, move it, run a longer extension cord. Daddy, I want to try but them stuff. They're pretty happy. There's tons of acorns and stuff for them to forge. Uh, if you look, they've got this rooted up pretty good already. Loving life, aren't you? So let's get this going. Yeah. What you doing, Piggy? Let's get you guys some water here. This is gonna be some awesome filming for you guys. Dang. That's Hammy right there. I thought it was Thelma. You got Thelma right there, that big one in the back there. That's Hammy. And Hammy's quite a bit younger. But Boris is getting pretty big himself too. All right, that one was just regular water. Um, we got some apple cider vinegar, probably a cup or two worth. I don't, it's not an exact science. But we put that in there, it helps boost their immune system, gives them electrolytes and, and all that. Plus they love it. People say it's a natural wormer too. Um, we don't have a worm issue. We uh, never have. Like with the cows, we when we get fecals done. What are you doing ladies? What you doing, Claire Bear? Alright. Let's go get some food for Louise. As I was saying, the, uh, we get fecals done and we've never had a worm issue. No worms whatsoever, so. The vet, the vet usually was baffled. That there was none at all, but. Oh, uh, you got a piece of plywood? Yeah, they're riding around in the bed helping me out with stuff. Oh. But yeah, we're gonna get some food and we'll go visit the piglets. Oh. All right, well, we wrapped up the morning chores. Claire's got some apple cider vinegar there. Claire's strong. But uh, thanks for watching. You guys got anything to say? Yeah, all five piglets should see luck. And see you next time. Make sure make sure you swipe and share yeah we forgot to film over by the piglets but we'll, we'll, we'll get them in another video they're becoming little little crazy monsters but, so yeah. again thanks for watching if you like what you see here please like subscribe and share until next time have a good one everyone bye